This is Star Wars Republic Commando. We're on the Nintendo Switch taking a look at this classic Star Wars title and definitely one that I think a lot of people really quite love just in terms of being a unique experience within the Star Wars universe and having really interesting tactical elements because you're controlling you know, not necessarily just an individual, but you've actually got a team that you are working with and you command them and control them to do different things. It is definitely, you know, a first person shooter, but it does have some neat elements to it that I think are kind of fun and I can't believe my health went down, so we're just gonna pop that up here. So yeah, with this being on the Nintendo Switch, we do have, like the other ASP reports, you know, an improved resolution quality here and a full widescreen support which is kind of interesting where did everybody go i think they went to the next battle without me now with that it does seem like the performance isn't quite perfect on this one in the other asper titles they seem to run quite smoothly and i don't know if that's just the case of the game here in particular but yeah it definitely seems to be a little bit rougher on the performance there definitely seem to be some issues in that regard which is uh, you know, a, a little disappointing, I suppose I could say, because it just keeps kind of popping up every now and then that there's, you know, it's not perfect. But it is definitely, you know, fairly smooth, and you can experience this game if you've never played it before, because it's kind of a, a really neat part of the Star Wars history, just in terms of being something fun and engaging, and having a really cool dynamic with this uh, squad of individuals, because I know that this is definitely a well-loved Star Wars title and it makes sense because it's it's really neat obviously you know this has also a very interesting sort of positioning when it comes to the lore of the star wars uh, universe just because i don't know if it's even canon specifically anymore i think they brought these guys back or something to some degree but anyways you know we're kind of like in episode two i guess the big battle thing kind of going on here and you'll you'll notice here how i'm leveraging my squad in order to do certain objectives and get to different places and you're, you're battling against various enemies like this first opening here like this isn't the opening opening there's like a whole prologue thing and uh, this is kind of just afterwards uh, a bit of a an opening level as to say that's uh, I don't know if this is still considered part of the prologue or not but basically you're, you're on Genosius and you got a mission and they kind of introduce you to each of the members of the team we've met a couple of our squad mates here as we battled against some of the droids and we're battling against some of the Geonosians as well. And you know, it's fairly interesting. I guess I should kind of mention settings wise on the Switch because some people find that a little bit interesting to kind of go over these sort of things. Because usually you have like a, sometimes they throw in the gyro and stuff like that, but it seems like this is just like the default kind of settings that are available here. And I thought that might be helpful for people. This is uh, a single player experience, so you are working through it by yourself, but you do have obviously the squad that you are working with because your squad mates are, well, they're an important part of your team because that's how you get missions and objectives done. There we go, let's destroy the crates. I mean, it's still, it's a pretty cool game. I, I think it's uh, definitely interesting just in terms of the missions you have to do and the objectives and the squad work. I don't know, it's, it's kind of a cool sort of situation to work into and it, it definitely has some surprises to it as well. I wish I had some ammo for the big blaster. I should have just blown up these crates and I could have eliminated these guys. But at the beginning here, you're seeing it, it's just kind of uh, basically introducing the concepts of here's how you control your squad and here's how you get them to do things. Come on, guys. Give me a hand over there and shoot some of these people. And this, the clone squad here, they, they look awesome. <laughs> They're definitely some of the coolest looking clones in the army, that's for sure. Uh, definitely a, a unique squad. We can go. I don't think we can actually go up there on that balcony because it, it's a fairly linear type of game. Uh, you know, at least in my opinion, I don't think it's pretty well set up for a linear play. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a really engaging sort of unique story and interesting challenges that you kind of work through as a team in order to eliminate all of your foes. I can't believe I'm still out of ammo. There was ammo so much in the beginning of this. Drive me crazy. We got some more frag grenades. Unbelievable. 
Oh, looks like we still got some droids. And I mean, obviously, you know, this is a bit of an aged game, so keep that in mind when you're seeing the visuals. But I think it looks pretty, like, crisp on a uh, full TV display in regards to, you know, being a Switch title. And I also think, you know, when you get undocked when you're on the go, it, it looks even crisper on the smaller screen, which is kind of nice. Because, you know, keep in mind, this is like a, an original Xbox era title. So it's, it's definitely, you know, quite a few years in. And yeah, this is where we get a segment of our, our other guy here on the squad. See, he's deadly because he's got, like, like intense look there. He's gonna kind of heal up a bit more. Get some ammo. That's what I'm talking about now. We're getting back to regular rifling. Okay. He's made it through. Delta lead. It is absolutely vital that Sun Fact not escape. Yeah, we're like the basically I don't know how to describe it, the most tactical special ops of the clone troopers. And we're sent in to do the missions the other clones can't do. Oh, it's a super battle droid! And you can have hints or you can have hints off, you know, you can play it however you want in that regard. And uh yeah kind of works out well again it's a fairly neat concept it's something i played way back in the day i played it not too long ago on xbox as well and it's just really cool to see it available on the switch and on other modern platforms i think it's really nice that they're able to preserve these classic star wars experiences because they are so much fun and they are so unique to enjoy oh no take out the super battle droid These things really do eat a lot of bullets. I wonder if I should focus another grenade on him or if he's just gonna blow up in a sec here. Breach that door. I know, I, I think the concept of using your team is kind of neat. I like that this was a different sort of experience in Star Wars. And as a game, I, I think it holds up fairly well, mechanics wise. Now, again, every now and then on the Switch, there seems to be some slight little performance dips and stuff like that, but. For the most part, it's it's generally fine, I mean. I don't think most people will really notice it. And it does also load quite fast, which is nice too. Because sometimes when you get these uh, types of games, the, the loading and stuff when they're ported over isn't the best, but it, it does actually load decently well, at least for the platform. We're battling. Come on, man. Get it done. Yeah! I love that smell. All I smell is burning. I love that smell. And the rumbling's pretty intense on the switch too, which is nice. There's no time to celebrate, Delta. As you already know, 3-6's squad has been incapacitated. Their mission was to disable the droid factory in this sector. Your squad has been retasked for this purpose. Proceed to <laughs> Classic games like their loading breaks between levels and stuff for like within levels was always entertaining. But this should give you an idea of how it loads, which again for Switch, it's just decently fast. And, and like I said, I think it's a pretty cool game. I think it's decently looking. I am happy that people are going to be able to experience this game in the modern time. And I think, you know, in that regard, this one holds up and is definitely worth playing if you've never played it before. We're going to continue on uh, playing the game, obviously, showing off more of it. But I don't necessarily have a whole lot of further details to kind of mention on this one. I mean, it's it's fairly straightforward in regards to what it provides, the type of game it is, you know, what what offering is available here. It's just it's really nice that we can have more people playing these games. To me, that's the important part of it, is the fact that the experience is preserved for future generations to give it a world. Do I want to pick up the sniper? Yeah. Okay. Sniper mode. Very accurate. There we go. Okay. Door breach, Commando. Aye, sir. 
Honestly, though, this is a part where there's a lot of troops, so I don't necessarily want to be doing the sniping at this current point in time. At, at least I don't think so, because this is like one of those hallway things we're running down here, and there's a lot of guys we got to blast. And while it might seem similar in terms of who we're battling now, keep in mind that this is kind of just the opening parts of the game, and it does get a little bit more wild as you continue along and battle in different scenarios. Well, that's some weird graphical glitching issues. That's interesting. Hmm. I guess this is a scenario for why we want to have that uh, sniper rifle, eh? I got like a rocket thing. Oh wow, that thing's on fire. And I'll switch back to the, the machine gun rifle thing here. There we go. Yeah, you know, I really didn't necessarily think that this would be one that would come to other platforms and stuff. I'm so glad that they seem to legitimately care about these old titles and they've been porting over so many of them. Because you can get like the Jedi Knight series and. You know, they got like pod racer and stuff. It's it's just it's really such a treat for me to be able to you know, kind of revisit these games and show them off to people that might not have ever played them before and they're like, Oh, new Star Wars games and it's like, well, they're old, but they're they're definitely still fresh and new for a lot of people. To me I kinda of find that thrilling. I am getting stamped in the back by these Geonosians. These bugs. They're on the ground too. Be careful guys. Let's get this health going up. Oh wow, he gave me a good stab. These things are causing some issues. And I just do want to reiterate, guys, that we are a team and we should be working together here. Heal me up. And did nobody revive Sev? Come on, guys. What are you doing out there? We're a team. We're an elite team. We need to be helping each other out. And battling along here with the Joy-Cons. Okay, let's go. Kind of opening up its store page. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty clear sort of cut experience when it comes to what it offers gameplay-wise. Just keep in mind, like I mentioned, you know, performance-wise, definitely some hiccups, and, um, you know, it's not necessarily perfect, but I'm just happy that it is available. That's that's the biggest thing. And it's not, like, necessarily in a rough state, I would say. It's, it's definitely playable and work, something you can work through. And, uh, yeah, very, very cool if you've never played Republic Commando. This is this kind of, I want to say it's beloved, you know, I've mentioned a few times where I'm like, this is a game a lot of people talk about and stuff, but I really do think it is one of the standout Star Wars titles that they did back in the day. We had so many cool options, it was like such a rich selection of Star Wars titles that I, I think, you know, it's, it's kind of wild to see so many options available. Unbelievable. Eliminate target. Somebody give that person a revive. Yeah, you're definitely seeing a little bit more intensity going on. Well, somebody go revive our teammate is what I'm mostly trying to say, but these guys keep running in the way of me. I might die here. <gasps> oh no! I'm not looking too good! Recall and revive. Be a team player, bring me back! So that's the cool part, is working as a squad. Because you get to have that command element, and so many people always say they want this like series to come back and stuff. Well, this, I don't know if it's really a series, but... You know what I mean? Just the fact that uh, people still want to see these entries and see a new one in it. Because I think the idea and the concept would work very well 
in the, the modern, you know, kind of Star Wars era, I guess you could say, of doing more. I guess you could put up, like, the Bad Batch and stuff like that. Because I guess they're, like, the newer guys. I want to heal myself up. Oh, come on. These Geonosians are taking it to us. The whole squad's falling apart. I don't know if anybody's still alive, even. Who's still up? Am I still going? Okay, I'm going. Okay, I'm gonna try to get out of the way a little bit. <laughs> okay. Trying to back up to see if I can maybe get some like ammo and stuff. But I do not seem to be getting- OH NO! THE SQUAD IS DOWN! We'll just load the last save, it's not the biggest deal. Okay, yeah, hopefully our team cannot fall apart in this situation and get things done. <laughs> Infiltrate the, the droid factory. Oh, it's so charming. Okay, let's make sure we actually have some stuff. No grenades though, eh? There's the jamming device, but it's shielded. Do the grenade maneuver. The jamming device is interfering with my visuals. I think we got to take out all the enemy forces first before uh, doing that. It's actually a lot of Geonosians we gotta deal with. Whoa, did I just like take off the top head of that guy? That's pretty crazy, or the top half, I suppose. There we go, I think we got these guys basically down here. These bugs are causing a lot of issues for our team. Things are still coming in, eh? <laughs> that did the job. Nice. I am actually shocked we haven't cleared out this room yet. There we go. Everybody good? Everybody done the hill thing? There's a computer console at the opposite end of this room. Must control the shield to the jamming device. I'm gonna move ahead here and prepare for battle. I feel better now. We gotta get up there. What are you doing all the way up in the battlefield? This isn't battlefront. Get the heal in. That was a really good sniper shot. I've got this, guys. Just keep covering me. 
we'll get this done. And we are mostly just showing off gameplay at this point, if you weren't aware of that. I mean, we talked about it beforehand. And, Shields down. Yeah. Let's go to that jamming device. Commander. Yeah, we'll, we'll get right on that. Place a charge on the jamming device. We're already in Set up there, Delta. Moving into position. Now we just need to defend this post. Oh wow, okay, maybe I should not have put a guy up there because I was not aware that we were gonna have to deal with so many enemies. Okay. We got the job done. Anyways, that's uh, Star Wars Republic Commando on the Switch. I uh, hope you found this kind of interesting. And, of course, yeah, pretty cool title. I, I think some people looking at it for the first time might actually find this to be a rather interesting and unique offering within the Star Wars universe. Uh, again, just keep in mind some of the performance things and stuff like that. So it's like, eh, but for the most part, you know, they resolution improved it quite a bit it looks a lot cleaner widescreen everything like that it, it's nice that people are going to be able to enjoy this game and have fun with it just like i did back in the day and just like the other great titles that they've been you know bringing back you know, we've got stuff like the jedi knight series we've got things like you know pod racer it's it's really awesome and stubs recently they did too which is great